So let's talk about the nitrogen in detail. When you talk about the nitrogen in detail, what protein does into the animal, the same thing nitrogen does for the plant. It gives them the stem strength. The plant stem is a very strong. It gives the leafy green strength, like a lot of stemota starts happening, a lot of a photosynthesis process start happening with the help of a nitrogen. So you see much more greener plant when you're using the nitrogen. So let's talk about the uh, phosphorus. So when we talk about the phosphorus, phosphorus actually strengthens the root, uh, root system. When we are using like, we are doing crops like a potato, we are doing like crops like a, you know, a, a radishes or we are doing, we, the crops which need a very strong root system, the phosphorus is the key element for that. So whenever we are using phosphorus, we have to make sure of that. So when we use NPK 1919-19, we make sure the phosphorus at the same quantity, in which quantity nitrogen and the potassium is available. So generally phosphorus does is the, it increases the root system, it uh, increases the disease resistance, it increases the, in, in, it, uh, it improves the flowering and the blooming part and it actually gives strength to the tissues and the flavors into the plant production. So this is the importance of a phosphorus into the system. Now let's talk about the potassium. Potassium is also important for the root and the seed production and potassium is the actual element which keeps on pushing plant to the maturity. So potassium keeps on pu pushing plants to the maturity. It, it, it makes sure that it adjusts to the climatic condition, adjusts to the temperature, it, you know, it, it, it goes into the flowering phase and ultimately goes into the fruiting phase as quickly as possible. That is the job of potassium. So in seedling phase, we have to make sure that we have a nitrogen which gives the photosynthesis process a boost up. We have a phosphorus which gives boost up to the root management or a root systems of the plant. And we have potassium which keeps which keeps on pushing plants to the ultimate growth or ultimate maturity. So these are the three nutrients requirement for the seedlings and we have to keep on uh, focusing on this nutrient requirement. That's why we use NPK 1990-90 throughout the period of a nutrient development, uh, uh, seedlings development. So these are the key elements. We'll talk about the next part which is the water.